The separated couple have been at odds over a variety of issues since Christine Baumgartner, Kevin Costner's wife, filed for divorce from the A-list actor on May 1. These issues vary from the legality of their prenuptial agreement to who gets to keep the former couple's pots and pans. According to a source, Costner, 68, is now ready to pump the brakes on the drama. Kevin and his lawyers have made a concerted effort to lower the temperature and stop the tide of bad publicity, explains the source. He doesn't want this to be a drawn-out divorce. When Baumgartner, 49, ended their partnership after 18 years of marriage, the Yellowstone actress was reportedly taken by surprise. The insider continues, Kevin feels betrayed by Christine, but he wants to take the high ground, pointing out that the actor has been preoccupied with Horizon, an American saga, and his future movie, as well as his children, Caden, 16, Hayes, 14, and Grace, 13, whom he shares with Baumgartner. Kevin doesn't want to quarrel with Christine any longer. By all accounts, Baumgartner was dissatisfied with the amount of time Costner spent working during the previous few years. He was away from home for months at a time while filming his popular series, Yellowstone, in Montana. According to a second source, their marriage seemed strong and like they were in it for the long haul, but the time apart clearly took a toll. Christine simply couldn't handle it. Things got ugly fast. In mid-June, court docs revealed that Baumgartner was refusing to leave the family's $145 million Santa Barbara compound, despite their prenup stating she had to vacate the property within 30 days of the divorce filing. She left in late July after their lawyers duped it out over who could keep certain household items like kitchen cutlery. They fought over child support, Baumgartner requested $248,000 per month, a judge ordered Costner to fork over temporary monthly payments of $129,755, and in court documents from August 10, Costner's attorneys accused Baumgartner's legal team of gamesmanship of the worst sort in light of her claims she felt pressured to sign their premarital agreement. They are due in court in November to hash out child support and the terms of their prenup.